Welcome back to Back to the Basics. We are talking the cloud, has, pass, has, all that stuff. Let's go! Welcome back, and we're talking about the cloud, not the rain cloud, not the storm cloud, the cloud. That's the cloud in the internet. Uh, so what's the big rage on the cloud? What, are, what does it mean? Well, really all we're talking about is it's kind of, it's, it's not at your site. It's somewhere else, but it does exist. It's not, you know, Fugazi. This thing is a physical presence. And instead of it being on your premise, in your office, at your home, it is somewhere else. And for the most part, that's all the cloud really means. Typically, it's in a data center, which is a big facility that has air conditioning and power and cooling and all that stuff properly managed. And servers are still there, memory is still there, storage is still there, all those fundamental components that you would have in a traditional data center or that you had maybe a NAS device at your home, that stuff still has to live somewhere. The idea is that you just don't have to deal with the physical aspects of it anymore. That is, in theory, all there is to the cloud. Well, it gets a little bit more complicated than that when you start talking about PaaS and HaaS and SaaS and I don't know, there's probably a hundred other acronyms, but PaaS, Platform as a Service. What does that mean? Well, Amazon, AWS is a good example of a platform as a service. So you can go onto Amazon and they'll spin up the compute, the memory, the storage, and even the OS instance in some cases, and give you access to that so you can develop an application and do what you want to do with that platform as a service. So platform as a service is kind of like the area in between SaaS and HaaS. So we'll go down a layer, HaaS, hardware as a service. So that is taking the storage memory, CPU, and giving that access to you so you can build whatever application you want on top of that hardware. So you can install your own OS. You could do all of that stuff. The provider would just take care of all that hardware. If the hardware breaks, they'll replace it. They make sure the cooling's good. They make sure the power is good. They make sure the network connectivity is good. That's hardware as a service. So we talked about PaaS. Now we're going to move up the stack to one more layer above that. That is SaaS. That is software as a service. So that means you forget about the hardware, you forget about the OS, you forget about the software because the software is the service. And so things like Dropbox, Facebook, those are all software as a service. You log in, you use it, you don't think about anything. That's software as a service. So to sum it up, the cloud is basically where does your stuff live? It has to live in a data center, it has to be physically managed, it has to be cooled and powered and computed and CPU and memory and all that stuff and give you access to it. And then based on what you're trying to do or based on what you're using, you're going to use a software as a service. So uh, box, Dropbox, those kinds of things. You can use a hardware as a service. That's a physical, the bare metal, the memory CPU. You're going to use those resources to build your own application, own OS, do all of that. Platform as a service. You're going to take some somebody else's OS already built for you and you're going to write, maybe you're going to use some APIs to tie into that. Those are the really the three core functions of what's out there in the cloud at a hybrid at a at a high level. If you have any questions, comments, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.